Okay, so let's do a quick thought experiment. If you opened your Mac today and you got this notification, this pop-up that you couldn't dismiss that said, hey, from now on, you're going to only be able to use apps made by Apple on this Mac, but you can keep one third-party app. What would that third-party app be? And there are so many options. I've done over 300 videos on this channel, um, mostly about third-party apps, so a ton of things come to mind for me personally. So the first app that comes to mind that I'd want to keep is Arc, but that's probably not the answer because Safari is pretty great as well, and I would be able to make do even though I love a lot of the things that Arc does. Mindstream also comes to mind, and I do a ton of email, and having a good email experience is important to me, but I could make do with the Mail app. Um, I do a lot of screen recording, so ScreenFlow and CleanShot are important, essential apps for me, but I could record the screen still, and I could do my editing in Final Cut, so that's okay, I could probably make do without those. I'd miss Obsidian, I'd miss Notion, I'd miss Adobe Lightroom, I'd miss the Pixelmator products, but all of those I think I could live without. There are Apple replacements that I don't like as much, but could get the job done for me. And so as I thought about this more, the two apps that really stood out to me were 1Password and Raycast. Those are the two apps that I think are the most essential and would give me the most bang for my buck if they were the only app I could have installed on my computer. And which one? I have to decide, and I'll decide at the end of this video, but I wanted to show you some of the things that make each of them so special and why 1Password is really essential to me and why I can't use Apple Keychain to accomplish what I accomplish with 1Password, and Raycast, which was is going to be kind of obvious because it's a real Swiss Army knife of functionality and get me a lot of the stuff, um, all with one app. So let's switch over to the computer and take a look. Okay, so here we are on the Mac, and I'm sure you don't need a full spiel on what 1Password does, but in general, I really love the scope of what I can save to 1Password, and I use a lot of it. So if I go to Add New Item, there are so many types of things you can add here. So obviously, usernames and passwords are huge and useful, but secure notes, identities, credit cards, um, documents, uh, bank accounts, API credentials, SSH keys, uh, all sorts of things can be put in here. Um, and it's just really easy to find what you're looking for and copy it, paste it. You can just go to the URL and open and fill it. Uh, secure notes are here, credit cards to autofill on the web, your Wi-Fi, software licenses. This obviously wouldn't be as relevant in a world where I don't have any third-party apps, but having my software licenses in 1Password is awesome. I really don't know what I would do without that. I'd have like a note stock, I guess. Um, my driver's license, just important documents that I don't want just anywhere, but I do want backed up to the cloud. 1Password, I think, is a pretty safe place, a pretty secure place to keep that sort of thing. So I love the scope of what you can save here. And when it comes to like logging in, you can do two-factor codes in here. Those work great. Um, and I also really like, I'm using the beta right now for pass keys. And so if I want to sign into Best Buy, for example, I've already saved my pass key to one password for this. I go to sign in on their site. I say sign in with a pass key and 1Password is going to do it for me and I'm into my account. It's super seamless and even more seamless than my experience using pass keys on uh, Apple system. So using Keychain. Really, really love this. I think it's an absolutely fantastic integration. I can't wait for this to be available on my iPhone, iPad, all my devices. So really love how pass keys work in 1Password. But it's not just that, if I want to share passwords. So you can see over here on the left, I have vaults, my personal vault. These are all my passwords on my accounts. But then I have my wife's vault. So she has her own vault where she keeps her own accounts. And whenever I need her login credentials, I can go to her vault. Whenever she needs mine, she can go to mine. Love having that. I also have a work one for some things that are vaguely work related that I want to have separated. I could probably just put those in personal. But anyway, I like that we can have these separate vaults, but still have access to each other's passwords when we need them. Also, sharing uh, passwords with somebody. So like, let's say I want to share the streaming site uh, login and password with somebody. Normally, I would just message it to them and that's not the best way to do it. So now you can share a link and you can create a link that will expire after an hour, a couple days, up to 30 days, and it's available to anyone with a password or if they're 1Password users, you can, or if they, if they I think you actually enter an email. So yeah, if they have an email, you can send it to someone. But anyway, let's say anyone with the link, this expires in one hour and it can be viewed one time. Let's get a link to share, copy it to the clipboard and let's bring up Arc again. There it is. So this is the other person who got the iMessage. Okay, here it is, I can copy it. I can reveal it to see what the password is. Um, and again, copy it and when I'm done, 
close it, and if I try to go to it again, it's gonna say maximum views are reached, no one else can get to it. So it was a one-time use link that someone could get what they needed, and then it's no longer just out there in the ether, it's not an SMS message that's God knows where. I really love this ability to share um, passwords, but yeah, I just, I use it all the time. I'm constantly logging into things. I didn't even mention um, if you log in with like a sign in with Google button or like Apple, it can actually save those as well. So if you don't remember, did I do a sign in with Apple on this one, sign in with Google, username and password? One password can handle it for you. I just find it so useful all day. I'm using it all the time. And again, not relevant necessarily to a world where I can't use third party apps, but it works in non Safari browsers on the Mac. So Chrome, Arc, Firefox, Opera, Vivaldi, whatever you're using, Brave, it'll work in all of those. And I really like that flexibility. So that's why I lean towards 1Password being my one app that I would keep because there's just so much that I keep in it and I use it constantly. But the other app that's on my list is Raycast and Raycast is also a really good pick. I think I would go with 1Password. The more I think about it, the, I think 1Password would be what I would go with. But Raycast brings a lot of cool stuff to the table as well. And actually what, everything I'm gonna say here, a lot of it is going to apply to Alfred as well. So whichever launcher you prefer, um, you can obviously use Raycast to launch uh, apps, to search for things on your computer, you can do all that. Um, but it has a whole bunch more that Spotlight, uh, which is what you would use just by default with macOS doesn't have. For example, if you are into ChatGPT, you can just hit tab when Raycast is open and enter, if you have a Raycast Pro at least, you can enter their uh, ChatGPT interface. So I recently asked, what is an elephant? Um, and it gave me an answer. Um, and so I could say like, uh, what is your name? There we go, my name is Raycast AI. And if I hit Command J, I can open up like a full ChatGPT um, interface. So tell me about yourself. Oops, there we go. And then it's going to do the ChatGPT thing. And whether that's your jam or not, I don't know. But if it is, it's there for you. And that's a really nice feature. There's tons more. So if we go to clipboard history, I can actually see things that I've copied. So I've only copied one thing, um, but my whole clipboard history could be here. I can choose how long to save things. It does OCR on images you saved your clipboard so you can search them for text in those images, which is really nice. Um, it also has uh, snippets. So if I actually pull up this text uh, file here and I wanna give someone my email, I just wanna write it out. I have a keyboard shortcut for EEE. -E -E. That's going to autofill matt at a bettercomputer.com, which is not a real email address. So don't try to send anything there, um, but that's set up in uh, my snippets. So I have a snippet that says, uh, when I type EEE, -E -E, expand it to matt at a bettercomputer.com. I can do a whole bunch of those uh, for all the different things that I want. So you can do snippets, which is kind of like a text expander sort of thing. The clipboard history thing as well, I really I really value that. I use Pastebot, but um, Raycast has it built in. So if I have one app, it's gonna be uh, Raycast for that. Um, there's a whole bunch of other things, right? I can search for GIFs through an extension. Um, so let's do LOL. And here's some of those. I can hit enter to copy to my clipboard. That's cool. Um, and there's just a whole store, oops, store of extensions that people have built for Raycast to do things. And so that really is what makes this such a jack of all trades. It does a ton of things and you can probably find something here that is gonna help you, right? Um, and so it's pretty pr pretty cool to see all the things the community has built around this. In addition to, if I go into the uh, extensions settings, um, you can kind of see all these things. It can define words for you. I have my color system, uh, the hex codes for the colors that I use all the time saved in Color Casket. There's Apple Music Controls, Notion integration, which again, I couldn't use in this situation, but all of this stuff is in this app. And I think that's what makes Raycast so interesting is that it just can do so much and it's all in one app. So I think I'd still go with 1Password, but Raycast is a close alternative and I could see why someone would go with Raycast or Alfred over their password manager. But anyway, that was my look at some of my favorite apps. And if I had to choose one, uh, what I would go with, I guess it would be 1Password, um, but I'd love to know in the comments what you guys would go with. I'm sure the answer will be different for a lot of people. And some of you will be like, what are you talking about? Why do you use a password manager as your one app? Wouldn't you use something else? And Maybe, um, but this is what I found when I was looking through my app. So thank you so much for watching. Again, let other people know in the comments what you would use yourself and I'll see you here next time.